Gaming and Gang, and welcome back to another episode. Uh, if you hear any strange noises, it's because we're under a bridge, but uh, I'm trying to stay in the shade while we film this intro because it is a hot one. It's uh, 81 degrees, isn't even 8.30 yet, and uh, it's heat index is in the hundreds somewhere. It's, it's just stupid. If you follow me on Instagram at Pelican Bone Outdoors, we got the Monster Bass June bag, and you've already seen that. It is all top water. I happen to love fishing top water, so I'm like, hey, let's take a few rods, hop in the kayak, and only bring the Monster Bass June bag. See if we can't catch something. So we're gonna go through it real quick. I'll show you everything that came in the uh, Monster Bass bag in June. All these awesome top water baits, and then we're gonna try and catch some fish before it gets too hot. And these fish are just like, nah, bro. <laughs> I'm gonna wait till this evening to eat. So if we don't catch any fish in a couple of hours, then uh, we'll come back out this evening and try and do it again. But uh, yeah, I'm gonna quit jibber jabber and let's get right down to it before the temperature gets as hot as the surface of the sun down here in the south, southeast Louisiana, where the humidity is a billion and the air is so thick you can wear it. All right, so if you're not familiar with Monster Bass, it is a monthly subscription bait service where they'll send you a bag of lures every month with some awesome stuff in it. Monster Bass, uh, so Monster Bass will break down their pro bags in region, so we're in the southern region, but this month is a takeover bag, which is all top water, like I said before. So, so when you open it up, dig on in, you got some nice reading material right here. Got some little information stuff. We're not gonna get too far into that right now. You'll get this golden ticket. I'm gonna cover my number because uh, Monster Bass goes live every Thursday, and right now they got these golden tickets with a number. If they call your number, you can win some fancy merchandise and fishing rods, fishing tackle, all kinds of stuff like that. We got a, 10, a $10 gift card for Monster Bass. That's pretty cool. All right, and now let's get into the juice. Oh, forgot about the Monster Bass sticker. Looks like the old uh, Mountain Dew. We got some pretty cool looking things we got in here. We got a Z-Man Leap Frogs right there. A little top water frog, a little popper. Gotta love that. We got from Vicious Fishing, we got the V-Pop 80, which is a just a top water popper. That's always good to have. Look at those eyes. I don't know if y'all can see the eyes. The eyes are awesome in that thing. A dadgum dinosaur. Then we got, this is definitely getting used today by Thunderhawk. It is a, not only is it a top water little plastic, soft plastic toad, but it's also a buzz bait. Connect them both. You can see right there on the back how they, how it connects. And it's all in one. We're definitely going to start off with that this morning and they give you some of these this these are by uh, big bite baits like a little replacement frog for for that thunderhawk bait right there so we'll put that on the side too then we got monster bass's patriot 3.0 this is pretty cool uh rick from monster bass designed these and he's on the 3.0 which means 1.0 and 2.0 it has been improved to the 3.0 so he's constantly working on improving the lure so that's always good to see i like that we have also we have some mustad hooks which you could use just straight for these instead of using the, the thunderhawk lure so put that on the side and here comes the other two that we're going to put we got three rods so we're going to put all three of these unique baits to start off with and we got this one by lunker hunt the yappa bug looks like what, what i call a locust i don't i don't think they're actually locusts but that's what they call them they make a loud obnoxious sound in the evenings but we're going to try this definitely this morning and then you got this fat bastard frog let me pull this thing out make sure we put our trash back in the bag so that doesn't look they got fish hitting the water right here i don't know what that is but. all right anyway look at this thing you got you can see the hooks are kind of upturned a little bit very sticky very sharp hooks very soft plastic so it should bend pretty good you got two tails but they're kind of they're real close together so that's a little bit unique and then you got this colorado blade spinner right there at the bottom on the uh the weight of the bottom of the frog give it a little shimmer and then look at this cup like what's going on there i have no idea and then of course you got the flame pattern who knows if that's gonna work but we're gonna definitely put that to the try this morning and uh see what this that little cup on the front does that's a uh, pretty unique looking so we're gonna put this on the side definitely using that definitely gonna be using this guy and definitely gonna be using this guy all right, stay tuned. I'm going to hook these things up, but we'll get the fish. All right, hopefully our GoPro doesn't uh, overheat and die like it did last time I had it. The battery got stuck in it and all kind of craziness. But, oh, by the way, if you are interested in giving Monster Bass a try, I will leave a link in the description below, as well as a discount code where you can get 15 
let me repeat myself, $15 off your uh, your first bag. So yeah, check it out. I guarantee you'll like it. All right, Ooh, let's see how this thing works. Probably should have put this on a faster reel, but it's all I got, you know what I'm saying? Let's get, oh my God, that sun is warm. I think I'm gonna have to switch this to one of my faster reels. Yeah, let me go ahead and do that real quick. Yeah, that's better. You know when you start doing something and you're like, no, I should probably do it this way, but you already started, so you just continue to do it the wrong way. And then later on, you're like, crap, I should have did it the right way. Now you gotta take time to do it the right way. Yeah, well, that's that's pretty much what just happened. Looking good. Man, what is going on with this thing here? Yeah. Which, this actually reminds me of something. That's why I designed this shirt right here. The struggle is real, you know, because that always wants to happen. So if you want to check out this shirt and this one and this one and any of these, uh, you know, hit up shoppelicanboneoutdoors.com and pick you up some merch. All right, now we're going to try out this little bug just to see how it swims. It's supposed to wobble back and forth as you reel it in. And it appears to be doing that. I'll check that out. Oh, dude, that looks awesome. I like that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, I guess it's just a cast and retrieve. It's pretty neat. And nothing. This thing's pretty cool, man. I like it. I like it even better if we can catch a fish on it. So this thing doesn't do well on top of grass. If the grass is touching it at the surface, it kind of wants to bog down. You got to get it past. But once you get it to any open water, that's when it walks pretty good. Unless you got a piece of grass tied to it, like that. I had to do some research on this thing. I was using this thing. I'm not sure exactly how it's intended to fish. Just initially, I thought it was just like a normal popper, but of course, you know, you got that different scoop right there in the front and with that Colorado blade. I'm like, let me just see what happens if I, I cast and retrieve. And, and I'm wondering if this ain't uh, one of the options of how to fish this thing. You see, I'll throw it out and all I'm doing is retrieving it. And you can see that splash is putting up right in front of it. So I guess with that, that little bubble trail and then that little Colorado blade, might be able to just swim this thing on top of the water too. All right. And no. And no. And no. Well, I didn't catch any fish, didn't even get any bites except for that little garfish right there at the end. But I'll tell you what I'm gonna do. I am gonna put some fish, catch, fish catches, fish catches, at the end of this video so uh, you guys can get y'all's fix of some fish in action and uh, yeah. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching, I do appreciate it. And before you go, if that uh, little subscribe button down there is red, do me a favor and click on that thing. Make it turn gray. I'd very much appreciate it. What do you think, Sam? Yeah, that's pretty much what I was thinking. Oh, there he is. There he is. Oh, yes, indeed. Oh, look at you. know what's up, water? Come here, big boy. Get in this boat. <laughs> Ooh, he feels like a heavy one. Good Lord, look at this. Oh my goodness. Holy crap. Holy crap. Get in the boat. Oh man. Look at this monster. Oh my goodness. Look at this beefcake. Holy crap. Dude. Oh my. Look at that mouth. Oh, he was barely hooked. 
Oh man, he chomped that sucker right down. Whew, they don't get like this in the marsh, that's for sure. Get him! Right. Get the net, get the net. Uh, uh, okay. something to help me. Oh, <laughs> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Take it down. Oh yeah, you got your big red now. She got him one. Oh, oh yeah. Oh, you good? Oh, you good? Oh my gosh. <laughs> Bring him right here. Oh my gosh. 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 Almost, almost, almost. Oh my gosh. Right, bring oh, my back gosh. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Come on. Oh my gosh. Come on, you was there. Oh my gosh. I think she's a little excited, folks. <laughs> <Brooke. laughs> Let me clear that lens off of y'all. <laughs> Yeah! <laughs>